from the classmarker.com page, home page, go ahead and we're going to enter our account information so that we can access our account. We're going to log in. Now, we've talked about how to set up classes, how to register students, and now we're going to see how to manage and create tests. So go ahead and click on My Tests. From this screen, you can see that I have a lot of tests that I have created for my students. From here, we're going to just make a new test. So go over here to the left where it says Create Tests. Click on the Create Tests link. And you have two different types of tests, model choice, free text, and punctuation. We're going to do a free test, free text test. So click on the free text, and it's going to ask you for a name. We're just going to call this adding numbers. Okay, choose test category. I don't believe that you can change that, so just keep it as generic. Test comments, if you want to make give your students directions or any type of comments before they te take the test, wish them good luck, whatever, you know, you can type the comments in there and those will be displayed. Okay. Now to get to the test, go down here to the bottom and we're going to start with question one. You don't have to type in the number one for the question. It already defaults to number one. So all you have to do is type in the question. We're going to do something real simple. 7 plus 2 equals. Now, we have to come up, since this is a free text, students are going to type in their answers. It's not a multiple choice where they just ch choose A, B, C, or D. They actually have to type in their answer. So there's multiple you know, answers that students, correct answers that students can type in here. Okay, one of the correct answers is 9. Another correct example might be 9.0, okay, and maybe 9.00, okay. You get the point. You have to put all the acceptable answers in there so that when students take the test, they might actually get the right answer, but if you don't have it as one of the acceptable, acceptable answers, it's going to mark it wrong, okay. So that's the that's the difference between the, the free text and the multiple choice. Then go down to the bottom of your screen and just add text question. And you've created your first test, or excuse me, your first question on, in your text, test. Down here at the bottom you can see your test question and you go here, go back up, and you can add, add question number two. We'll add five plus 6 equals 11, or excuse me, I don't want to put that there. Go down here to my acceptable answers, type in 11, type in 11.0, type in 11.00, okay, and you, you um, can type in more correctable an correct answers if you wish, and then just add text question, and now I have two questions created to my test. Okay. And then if I want to assign this test to my students, go back to my test, go down and find our, our test that we just created, adding numbers, and we're going to assign that to a class. So to do that, go to your classes and we're going to assign it to class 3, the one that the, the, the class that we um, just created and go to assign test and down at the bottom here you're going to find the test that we created adding numbers and we're going to assign that test to the class. Okay? Now the two students that we've fake students that we created they can go online now and take that test. I'm going to show you how they can take the test. Okay, so I'm going to have to first log out, and I'm going to log in as one of the students that we counts that we created. So the first one we created, um, or I'm going to do the second one. It's the easiest one. Croc. 
680, put in their password. I'm going to log in. And you can see this is what your students will see as they log in. Okay, They're logged in as um, Croc 680 and they can t start the, the test. Okay, here's your first test question. They're going to respond, type in 9, hit next, type in 11.0, hit finish. Okay, and you can see they scored 2 out of 2, they can see the results. They got 2 out of 2, 100%, and it, the time taken, it took them 18 seconds to take that test. Okay, now, I'm going to log out here and show you the information that you get as a teacher about this student taking the test. So I'm going to go ahead and back and log in. And I'm going to go to my classes, go to class three, that's the class that we created, and I'm going to go to administer learners and I'm going to go down here to six, um, Croc 680 and see how they did on their the test. So I'm going to go to test results and I can go to view results. Um, they have 100% on adding um, numbers. I'm going to re review results and you can see what questions they got right or they got wrong and see how they did. So you can see that it's a very useful tool. Um, one of the drawbacks that I found in math is it's hard to do things beyond computation. Okay, you have to be real creative in um, how you form the question.